Hello, my name is Destiny of Curls, Coils and Things, and I want to go ahead and share with you all my fall skincare routine for PM and AM for oily, acne-prone skin. Let's get into it. I'm starting out this affordable skincare routine using my oil cleanser. Lately, I have been using Coco Kinds oil to milk cleanser i love this cleanser so much it is great for removing makeup and spf at the end of the day and it has been revolutionary for my oily acne prone skin after my oil cleanser i'm using a water-based cleanser to double cleanse and I am using CeraVe's Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I love this one, it is so gentle for my skin. As an oily, acne-prone skin girl, I feel like a lot of people think that I should be using cleansers that are high in a lot of actives, and a lot of people reach for that. I know I reached for that in the past, but right now in my skincare journey, I'm really focused on hydration and repairing my skin barrier and maintaining my skin barrier, and in return, my skin is not overproducing oil, trying to compensate from what I'm stripping away from it. So I'm not looking for my skin to have that squeaky clean feeling. That is actually a sign that I overdid it with actives in my cleansers and actives in my other products. So I am focused on gentle cleansers and it has been the best thing for my skin. I'm following up with the Tolien, I think I'm saying that right, Double Repair Matte Face Moisturizer for Oily Skin by La Roche-Posay. This moisturizer is a great bang for your buck, especially as it gets a little bit colder outside. I also love Coco Kind's Ceramide Barrier Serum. I use it as a moisturizer. It is really lightweight. It's a little bit more expensive, but it is still a great affordable buy. I'm using a retinol from The Ordinary, which is the 0.5% in squalene. I'm using this after my moisturizer is dry. One, because I don't want the retinol to sting when I am applying. Two, because I want my moisturizer to serve as a buffer for my retinol. I am just now introducing retinoids into my skincare routine and I don't want to potentially compromise my skin barrier. This is a pretty low percentage, so I should be fine, but I just want to play it safe. The last thing I do before finishing my routine is add a pimple patch if I have any annoying pimples. I don't have the original patches with me right now, but I do have the micro point patches which are great for beginning stage pimples. These patches have salicylic acid in it, but gentle enough to be used in combination with my retinol. First thing in the morning, I take off my acne patch. It did bring down some of the swelling. For my AM routine, I'm going in again with my CeraVe cleanser. I cannot stress enough how much I love this cleanser. It is so gentle because of the added ceramides and it is a great bang for your buck. I know you've heard it all over the place, especially on TikTok. And the girls did not lie about this one. If you have a little bit more room in your skincare budget, I highly recommend you investing in a good quality vitamin C serum, especially if one of your skin concerns is hyperpigmentation. I love using Hyper Skin, and this is a black owned brand that truly understands common skin concerns of black people. So this is a great one. It is a little bit pricey, but if you truly want a great vitamin C serum that is not gonna oxidize on you, it is a great investment. I go in again with my moisturizer from La Roche-Posay. This moisturizer has a high concentration of La Roche-Posay's prebiotic thermal water, ceramides, and glycerin. I finish out my routine by adding my sunscreen. I love using Innisfree's Daily UV Defense Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum SPF 36. This is a chemical sunscreen that is great for my oily acne prone skin because it is so lightweight and it doesn't leave that white cast on darker skin tones and it's only $15. It's only $15. 
So that's all for my affordable fall skincare routine. If you like this type of content, make sure you like and subscribe and go ahead and comment and tell me what you all are using this fall in your skincare routines. I'm always looking for new recommendations, especially in the affordable category. All the links for the products are listed below and those affiliate links really, really help me out. And I appreciate y'all so much and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye y'all.